All right, today, ladies and gents, we're going to talk about how to set up your default template. And uh, this is something that uh, I do constantly because I like to have my default template uh, have certain things set up. And I'm going to go ahead and remove a couple of things from this open, uh, uh, just blank page right here and uh, show you how I do this. All right, so the first thing I wanted to do was show you the utilities. So if you go to utilities, options. There are a variety of options that you can set up here to be um, how you want them to be for your default template. Uh, starting on the general tab, um, this, uh, uh, this information here for uh, angle constraint, so when you're constraining the angle of, when you're turning something uh, or using the, uh, um, the, the various line tools, uh, this is um, the number of degrees that you can set up for your angle constraint. <clears throat> your nudge size, um, I have mine set up to one pixel. The when you hold the uh, the control key uh, down and and nudge, or is it shift? I can't remember off the top of my head right now. Um, it it multiplies this number by ten. So uh, hitting the right arrow costs uh, um, makes this move makes it move by one. Hitting the uh, holding shift and hitting the right arrow key uh, moves this by ten. Uh, Anyway, and then if you want to duplicate something, this is the distance away from the object that it gets duplicated. This is not the same as clone, which uh, clones, which creates a, a copy right on top. Uh, then grid and rulers, the next thing, uh, I have my major spacing uh, set up to 50 pixels with a number of subdivisions being 50. You can do that however you want. Um, your grid type, uh, I'm not going to get into that right now, but most people want a rectangular grid type. And then your origin point, and because this is a web page, my origin point is um, is 0, 0700. In other words, the top right corner. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then, and that's pretty much it in the page size you could set up as well. <clears throat> and that's most of what I set up here. Oh, I also set up my units. Um, uh, before I forget that, the the number of pixels and uh, for. <clears throat> excuse me. Pixels for my default page units and pixels for my default font units. Anyway, so once I have that set up like I want it, uh, the other thing I always want to, to be there is my ruler. So Control L toggles the ruler on and off. That's what I'm doing right now. Uh, I want it to always be there, so I'm going to leave it on. And then uh, the other one of the other things I like to do is um, create a a couple of guidelines that always show in the uh, in the middle of the page. So I'm going to do that. This is the easiest way to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and draw a square and I'm going to do the the width 955 and the height 700 which is the exact same size as my page. And then I'm going to go to the uh, selector tool and I'm just going to zero out these X and Y positions. Type zero there and a zero there, enter. And that puts it exactly in the center of the page. Well now, you can see since I have the square selected, it's got these uh, these center dots, <coughs> or nodes at the, at the center. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to drag down from my ruler to get my guideline selected uh, exactly centered on there, on these center nodes. And I'm going to do the same thing with the, the uh, other ruler and get my guideline centered directly here. Now, it may not be 100% centered because this is 955 pixels wide, which is an odd number, and this is going to be sitting off to either one side, one pixel off to the side, but it's more or less the center of the page, which is what, uh, what I generally want to, to show up. Uh, after I do that, I can delete my rectangle, and there we go. Now I've got my guideline set up. And then the last thing I have set up is this named colors uh, uh, layer. Um, basically, you just go here and press new layer and name it something you that, that makes sense to you. I named mine named colors, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this layer for now. Uh, but I just wanted to show you how you do it real quick. Um, and on this named colors layer, I have my named colors. Uh, you can create named colors, like this one, for example. I don't have them selectable. Hold on. This one, for example, is this uh, is this theme color too, and then um, 
they're just different colors that I that I've named, and I I've, I left them as as small drawing, small um, objects on this layer, because if you have the objects on on your drawing and they are named colors, it will keep the named colors in your in your document. So basically, um, the blue ones are these are, are the theme color one oh, variant. Undo. The theme color one variant um, with with shades of theme colors um, theme color one, and then the the red ones are this uh, theme color two variant, and then uh, the orange ones are this theme color three variant. And I leave those on a layer that is both um, non-visible and locked, and that way it never gets in my way. But I always have my colors here, and then I select my mouse off layer uh, layer. And that's pretty much it. That's how I want to save it. So the last thing I need to do is go up here to File, uh, Save Template. And that brings up the location where my templates are. And then I want this one to be a, a web page 995pixxga, right? So I select that. And that names it that. You can also name this something new. It doesn't have to be this. But I, I name uh, mine the same thing here. It's a, just a web page that, with 900, 955 pixels wide. And if I click on this uh, check mark here, let me slide it over, click on that, use this default template, that is going to make that the default template every time I press the new button up here, new document button. And then you just press save. I'm not going to do that right now because I don't want to mess up anything in case I have messed up something. Uh, but that's how you do it. Um, and you just say file, new, and the control N is this web page 995pix uh, XGA, right? Control N is that. Or I can hit this and basically I just get a new page. Any second now when it pops up. There it is on title 15 now. Is this page and it's got my guidelines on it. It's got my named colors at the bottom. It's got the pixel setup that I want. It's got uh, the ruler on, like I like it. Anyway, this is how I set up my uh, um, my default uh, template. You can set up yours any way that you like. Uh, but I hope you found the, the method for doing so uh, informative and useful. And you'll come back and see us again next time.